The next morning, the Hex Girls woke up and headed towards the festival grounds. Scooby and the gang, they all went out for breakfast. After they had breakfast, the Mystery Inc. went to have some fun at the festival while the Hex Girls were performing one of their songs to the audience. This is so much fun, gang, Fred said as he and the gang went on a few rides. Like I can hear the Hex Girls far away, Thelma replied. This is so much fun, Daphne replied. So, gang, where's Shaggy and Scooby? Fred asked. I know one place where they are. <laughs> Velma chuckled as Shaggy and Scooby were eating hot dogs. Like, man, this food is really great, Shaggy said to Scooby as he gulped down his hot dog. Yeah, Scooby replied. He gulped down his food. There you boys are, Velma said, as she, along with Fred and Daphne, found their friends. So have you guys been listening to the Hex Girls? Fred asked. Like, man, isn't the lead singer hot? Shaggy asked in a daydream. Somebody's in love, Daphne chuckled. I can sure see it, Velma said, replied to Daphne's comment. Meanwhile, at the stage, the Hex Girls were performing one of their songs, and they were close to the end of the their song. But before Forn could finish, she heard screaming. She looked around to see screams of horror. She could see people running away, screaming in terror. What the fuck? Forn was confused. Then all of a sudden, she was grabbed by a zombie. She was trying to keep the zombie from biting her as he was trying to bite her. Forn! Dustcast in, said in terror. Luna grabbed the zombie and pulled it away from her friend. Then Forn grabbed her guitar and slammed it against the zombie's head. Hey, you're ruining my show! Forn growled as she kept bashing the zombie's head. She kept hitting it over and over again until it was a bloody mush blood stained her guitar, but she didn't care. Easy now, girl. I think you've killed and infected, Luna said. She pulled Forn away from the corpse. What the hell is happening? Dust asked. She along with her friends all looked around, and they could see some people running away. Some were covered in blood, others were being eaten alive. Oh my god, Luna said as she was very scared. Mr. Ink is here. We need to find them. Let's find them, girls, and then get out of here, Forn said as her friends nodded. Now stay with me, and whatever you do, don't lag behind. The Hex Girls all quickly got off stage as they pushed people out of their way. I could see them. Dusk pointed out at the Mystery Inc. They were on a ride. They were trying to keep away from the affected while on the ride. We're trapped! Daphne cried in fear. Fred looked to see the Hex Girls. It's the Hex Girls, Fred said to the gang. He appeared out from the window. Girls, we're up here. Kill those things, and quickly, Fred called out. Form grabbed her guitar and started to run towards Mystery Inc., but a few zombies blocked their path. Forn attacked the zombies in her way when Luna saw a gun on the ground. She picked up a pistol and fired a few rounds at the infected. Once the zombies were all down, the Hex Girls got the gang free from being trapped. Thanks so much, Thelma said to the Hex Girls. What the hell is happening here? Daphne asked. I was grabbed by one of those things, Forn replied as she was shaking in fear. Things were going fine until this shit hit the fan. Where's Rose? Fred asked. We need to find her. Fred looked around the festival grounds as it was trashed. Hey, a voice called. The Hex Girls along with Mystery Inc. looked around. They soon saw Rose as she was standing near the mystery machine and the Hex Girls van. Over here, get here quickly. The girls along with Mystery Inc. nodded. They raced their vehicles as Daphne was grabbed by a zombie. Help! Daphne cried as Rose shot the zombie in the head. He let go of Daphne when he dropped dead on the ground. That was far too close. Thanks, Rose. Thank me later. Right now, we gotta get the hell out of here. The gang along with the Hex Girls got in their vehicles and drove away. They were driving through the carnage of the streets. Is everyone okay? Rose asked the Hex Girls. Yes, Luna, Forn, and Dusk all replied with as Forn drove through the streets. What the hell is going on here? Luna asked. I knew something was up, but I didn't expect this. Rose looked in horror to see Carnage. Once they were in a safe zone, they parked their car along with Mystery Inc. Like, what's going on here? Thelma asked when she rolled down her window. No idea. It's hell, all right, Forn replied. Let's head back to Duckville Street, Rose suggested, the plan for the gang. We head there. I hope no zombies didn't hit there yet. 
Sounds good. We'll meet you there, Daphne said. As soon as the Hex Girls and Mystery Inn got to Duckville Street, it was quiet. Well, it looks like the zombies have beaten us here. Rose got out of, her, of the Hex Girls' van and checked out the house. Is this the house where someone was missing from? Fred asked Rose. Yeah, I have no idea who or what killed his daughter, Rose replied. She checked all over the house, but there was no one living in there. There's one room I haven't looked yet, Rose said to the Hex Girls and the gang. She looked at Forn. Want to check the bedroom? Which one? Forn asked. The master bedroom. Have this gun at the ready. Rose handed Forn a pistol as Forn slowly climbed up the stairs. She looked at the master bedroom. There was blood on the doors, so she slowly walked to the doors, had one hand on the gun and the other on the door handle. Slowly but carefully, Forn opened the door. To her horror, she saw a dead couple on the bed. The streets were covered in blood. Forn nearly gagged at the sight. Hey, Rose, come on up. She called to Rose to come upstairs. Oh my god. Rose nearly vomited at the sight. What the hell is happening here? Forn asked. Everyone was scared of the zombies. Someone or something is causing this. Rose ran to the bathroom of the master bed bedroom where she vomited. Dusk and Luna also climbed upstairs. They almost gagged at the horror sight. Oh god, Luna said under her breath. We'll stay here for a bit, gang. We'll need to make a plan, Fred started. A plan to get out of this town. Rose then looked or walked out of the master bathroom. The gang and the hex girls took the bodies of the dead couple and tossed them down in the basement. We'll barricade the front and back doors, Thelma said. Everyone blocked the two doors that they were instructed. That should hold the infected for a while anyway, Thorne said. Wait a minute, Mark is out there, Rose said. The Hex Girls and Mystery Inc. were shocked. He's still out there? Daphne asked. Why, tell him to come here, Shaggy suggested to Rose. I'm trying to get a hold of him now. Rose got on the phone. She walked to another room. What if Mark can't get here? Shaggy asked. Then someone will have to go and, like, find him, Fred replied. Jeepers, Daphne commented. I'm willing to go, but I don't want to go alone. We can go with you, Daphne, Luna offered. Yeah, you might not make it back alive if you're alone, Dusk added. As a team, girls, we stick together, Farn added with bravery in herself. Very brave, girls, Thelma said. Like you girls were brave when the outbreak happened, Shaggy added. When Rose got off the phone, she looked at the gang. Mark didn't respond. Someone will have to go find him, Rose said. All right, we'll go, Thorn said to Rose. Although she had a feeling that, feeling that Mark is either dead or undead, but can't make any promises that he's alive, he'll be alive, dead, or missing, or undead. Take my car, girls. It's in the driveway where your van and mystery machine is, Rose said to the Hex girls and Daphne. Here, you all need these. Rose also handed for a crowbar, dusk of and Luna fire axes, and she handed Daphne a, a pistol along with some ammo. These will help you defend yourselves. Thelves, she said. These will be helpful, Daphne replied. Now, girls, be careful out there. Don't get bitten whatever you do, Rose said. Fred took a look at the front yard. There were no zombies in sight, thankfully. The coast, the coast is clear, girls. Now go to Rose's car, drive down and find Mark. If he's dead, then let us know. Fred said to Daphne and the Hex Girls. Will do, Daphne replied. Fred looked up at her. Just be careful, Daphne. I love you more than anything, Fred said as he held Daphne close to him. I'll be okay, Freddy, Daphne replied as she kissed Fred's cheek. I love you too. Be careful, Dusk and Luna, Velma said. We'll be careful, Velma, Luna said. We can get through just about anything. Yeah, we'll be fine, Dusk added. Shaggy then stopped for him for a moment. Mike, be careful out there, Forn, Shaggy warned his friend. I want you to come back in one piece. Shaggy then stared in Forn's eyes. I'll be back in one piece, of course, Forn replied. She would usually joke about this point, but a zombie outbreak was serious, so there was no time for jokes. The Hex Girls and Daphne left the house on Duckville Street, and they drove down to Rose's car at the back into town. They could see the zombies roaming, and even some people screaming and shouting. Mark has to be okay, Daphne said, as she was scared at the horror around her. There's the restaurant, 
Orn pulled into the parking lot as the Hex Girls got out of the car. Dusk looked for the windows. He's gotta be in here, Dusk said. God, it looks run down, Luna added. Forn tried to open the door, but it was locked. Damn it, he must have locked the door, Forn cursed herself. Then she took out a crowbar and wedged it between the weapon and the door frame. Within a few seconds, a brief crack gave her a dead giveaway. Nice one, Daphne commented. As the girls walked inside the restaurant, there was blood on the ground. Mark? Forn called. She and her friend started to look for Mark. There was bloodstains on the floor and the walls, and even some on windows. Forn then all of a sudden heard shuffling sounds. She walked around to see a closed door. She knocked on the door. Mark, you in there? Forn asked. Is Mark in there? Dusk asked. She pointed at the staff bathroom. Let's go and see. Daphne had her gun ready. She slowly pushed open the door. To her horse, she saw Mark. He was lying dead in a pool of his own blood. Oh, God, Forn gagged. She didn't like seeing the sight of a dead body. What the hell happened? Luna asked. It looks like he was bitten, Dusk pointed at the bite mark. Forn nearly vomited, but she was able to hold back her puke. Daphne then looked at Mark's neck. It had a deep bite mark. Sounds like Rose isn't going to have good news, Daphne replied. Forn looked pale as a ghost. Daphne noticed her fan looking pale. I'm okay, Forn said. Her stomach was churning with fear and sick within her. She ran to the bathroom and vomited in there. She does have a weak stomach, Dusk warned Daphne. It's a smell of decaying body, Luna explained. We smelled one before. That was... Forn gagged as she wiped her mouth. That was last month when we found a dead body in a dumpster. Oh my god, what was that dead body of? Daphne asked. Forn looked at Daphne. It was a woman. She was around the same age as me. I'm 21 years old, Forn replied as all the girls sighed. We'll have to tell Rose that Mark didn't make it, Dusk said as Luna grabbed a revolver on the ground. She shot at Mark's head only to make sure he didn't come back as the living dead. The Hex Girls and Daphne all left the restaurant, walked back to Rose's car. They drove away from the city until they got onto the highway. What has happened? Daphne asked. She was shocked when she saw corpses littering the streets. No idea, Daphne. We gotta get back to the gang, Forn replied. All of a sudden, another vehicle pulled out of nowhere, and the vehicle hit the Hex Girls and Daphne. The girls with their car crashed into a blocked barrier, but luckily, no one was hurt. Ugh, Daphne groaned. She along with the Hex Girls groaned in pain. Is everyone okay? Luna asked. We're okay. My head hurts, though, Daphne replied. Forn got out of the car as she looked up to see a zombie girl. She wasn't far from the car that hit them. Daphne along with Dusk and Luna took notice. Forn, you okay? Dusk asked. That girl, I think she's infected, Forn pointed out. The driver was either for about to become a zombie or dead. She might not be. Luna ran up to the zombie girl. Hey, are you okay? She asked. The zombie girl turned around and vomited on Luna. Daphne grabbed her gun and shot the zombie girl. Ah, fuck. This stings my eyes. Luna groaned in pain with a shout in her tone. Luna! Dusk and Forn ran up to assist her friend. Are you okay? Dusk asked. That bitch vomited blood on me. Luna replied. She had her eyes both shut tight. Did any of it get in your eyes? Forn asked as she grabbed a rag from her bra and began to wipe off the blood off of her friend. Yes, it did. God, it stings so much. Luna nearly screamed. Dusk grabbed a water bottle and dabbed some on the clean rag. She helped Luna rub it out of her eyes and even wash them out too. You okay? Forn asked a few minutes later. Luna was able to open her eyes, but they were red from the blood stinging. Yeah, how are my eyes? Luna asked as her eyes were swelling a bit. Your eyes are red and they are swelling just a little bit, Daphne replied. Here, keep this wet cloth up to cover your eyes. Daphne handed the wet cloth to Luna. We better get out of here, Dusk suggested, at least before more of those things show up. Dusk tried to start the car, but since it was totaled, the car was in no good shape. Damn, our ride is totaled. Forn said. The Hex Girls and Daphne walked the rest of the highway for a while. Just then they found a railroad track. There is a s railroad track, Dusk said. But where does it go? 
It goes from not far from the neighborhood, Daphne said. Rose said she heard it come back, Daphne said, as the hex girls walked down the railroad. They didn't see another zombie along the way, so it was a good sign. When the hex girls got to the neighborhood, the area was swarm of affected. Aw, give me a break, Thorn cursed under her breath. There's too many of these infected, Luna said. There's no way we could fight them off. We can't sneak past them, they'll see us, Dusk added. We can't run past them because they'll catch us, Daphne also added. Thorn then had an idea. I have a plan, I'm not sure if you'll like it, but it's a safe plan, Thorn began. We'll hop over these fences to get to Rose's house. We'll avoid the zombies in danger this way. Dusk along with Daphne and Luna all looked at each other. Sounds like a plan, Daphne agreed. The girls all went around back on one of the neighbor's houses, and they hopped over the fences until they got to Rose's backyard. That why was there so many fences? Luna panted. No kidding. I don't think I could do any more fences, Dusk added. Foreign then looked at the back door. Rose opened it up. Get in, girls, Rose said as the girls ran inside the building. Foreign then stabbed on, was stabbed in the thigh. She nearly screamed in pain, but she held back the screen as Daphne turned to see a looter. He stabbed Foreign and Daphne pulled out her gun. What in the... The looter stopped talking as Daphne cocked the safety off her gun. You stabbed my friend. Why did you do that? Daphne growled. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were not one of them. The looter stuttered. Daphne was about to shoot but stopped. Fine, just go, Daphne said. The looter then went over one of the neighbor's houses and out of sight. You okay, Forn? Luna asked. Yeah, God damn it, my thigh hurts. Forn groaned in pain. Dusk alone of Luna then brought oh, its Forn inside the house. Rose locked all the doors when the girls were inside. The gang and the hex girls all sat down in the living room. We can't stay here. Not anymore, gang. Fred said. It's too dangerous. Fred's right. We need to move out of this house, Rose added. She then looked at Forn. Are you okay? Forn replied. Luna and Dusk bandaged up Forn's stab wound up. That was a good stab. It could have been worse, Dusk and Luna both said. And she made it over the bandage where the fight was enough. There, that should do it. Luna gave Forn some painkillers afterwards. We should move somewhere safe, like away from the cities, Daphne said. She then paced around the room. We need to get out of here. Somewhere safe we should go. Maybe to the country? Velma suggested to Daphne. I heard it's less populated area. It will be safe, I hope. Maybe more people can help us. Velma's right. The countryside will be less populated and hopefully less zombies, Fred replied to Velma's reply. We'll move up there and hopefully find more survivors. We'll have to leave move tomorrow, so we'll pack our things such as food and supplies, Rose added. We'll leave in the morning. Fred along with the Hex Girls in the game loved the idea, as Rose agreed as well. It's settled. We'll pack today and leave in the morning, Rose replied. We'll take our van, Thorne said. Like, we'll take the mystery machine, Shaggy replied. Like, Rose can go with the Hex Girls and we follow you guys. Sounds like a great plan. I like it, Shaggy, Daphne said. The gang packed their supplies for the trip, and as they packed food, water, medical stuff, and etc., they were all ready to leave by the morning. Forn was in her bathroom when Shaggy walked in. Wink, are you okay? Shaggy asked Forn. Yeah, except for that stab wound. I'm okay, Forn replied. She turned to see Shaggy. What's up? She asked him. Wink, I'm scared about this outbreak. Happening mainly. Aren't you scared? Shaggy asked Forn. Yeah, I am scared, Shaggy, but I have to stay strong for my friends. Forn turned to Shaggy when she walked out of the bathroom. Is Mark okay? Shaggy asked him, asked her. Unfortunately, no, he didn't make it. Forn then shook her head. She lay down on her bed as Shaggy walked towards the bed, then lay down beside her. We'll get through this. I gotta be strong, not only for the gang, but for Scooby and you, for you girls, Shaggy said, as he stroked Forn's black hair with red highlights. I gotta stay strong too, Shaggy, but we'll get through this together, Forn replied. She smiled at Shaggy. The two fell asleep during their embrace. The gang, along with the Hex Girls and Rose, they all left at dawn.